video is another full book and it's Billy B. Brown, The Midnight Feast. Billy B. Brown has one blue torch, one big packet of marshmallows and one brand new tent. Do you want to know what the B in Billy, Bre Billy B. Brown stands for? Big. Billy B. Brown says she is now big enough to go camping. Do you know where Billy is going to go camping? In Jack's back garden. Jack is Billy's best friend. He lives next door. Billy and Jack are going to sleep in Billy's new tent. And guess what? Billy and Jack are going to have a midnight feast. That's why Billy needs so many marshmallows. Billy and Jack are sitting in the tent. They are planning their midnight feast. Jack has two packets of chips. Billy has some rice crackers and dip. Jack's dad pokes his head into the tent flap. Hey kids, dinner's ready. We don't need dinner, says Billy. We've got heaps of food. It's a long time until midnight, says Jack's dad. And it's spaghetti bolognese. Jack looks at Billy. It's spaghetti bolognese, he says. Spaghetti bolognese is Billy's favourite. Um... Okay, says Billy. We'll just come in for dinner, but that's all. Billy and Jack run inside. They can smell the spaghetti. It makes their tummies rumble. Billy and Jack eat two bowls of spaghetti each. Then they run back outside to their tent. It is still light. Shall we have the marshmallows now? Jack asks. He reaches for the big packet full of pink and white marshmallows. They look delicious. No, silly, says Billy. They are for the midnight feast. Oh, says Jack. Maybe we can have the chips then. Okay then, says Billy. And maybe the dip and rice crackers too. They can be our practice midnight feast. Good idea, says Jack. Billy and Jack wriggle with excitement. Camping is so much fun. Billy and Jack get into their sleeping bags. They share a packet of chips. Then they eat the dip and rice crackers. They'll keep the marshmallows until midnight. But midnight feels like a very long way away. It's not even dark outside yet. Let's go and get a game, Billy suggests. I've got Uno at home. Cool, says Jack. So Billy and Jack unzip the tent and run out into Jack's back garden. Then they run along the fence until they get to the hole. Then they squeeze through the hole into Billy's back garden. Billy and Jack run inside. Billy's mum and dad are watching TV in the lounge room. Hi kids, Billy's mum calls. Finding Nemo's on tonight. It's starting in five minutes. We're camping, calls Billy. We can't watch TV when we're camping. But it's Finding Nemo, says Jack to Billy. Finding Nemo is Billy and Jack's favourite movie. Billy frowns. Oh, okay, she says. Billy and Jack sit down in the lounge room to watch. Billy's dad makes them strawberries and ice cream and lets them eat in front of the TV. Teeth, says Billy's mum when, when the movie finishes. You don't brush your teeth when you go camping, says Billy. Oh, yes you do, says Billy's mum. So Billy and Jack go to the bathroom to brush their teeth. Jack keeps a spare toothbrush at Billy's house. Billy has one at Jack's house too. When they have finished, Billy and Jack peer out the back window. Now it is very dark outside. Are you sure you still want to sleep in the tent tonight? Billy's mum asks. Of course, says Billy. We're camping. Uh-oh, says Jack. I left my torch inside the tent. Me too, says Billy. How are we going to find our way back in the dark? Don't worry, says Billy's dad. I'll take you back, but I'm not going through the hole in the fence. So Billy's dad takes him back over to Jack's house, but this time they go around the front way. Billy's dad tucks Billy and Jack into their sleeping bags. He gives them both a kiss. Are you sure you're okay out here, Billy's dad asks. Of course, says Billy. We're big kids now. Big people can still get scared, Billy's dad says. Well, not us, says Jack. Billy's dad smiles and zips up the tent. 
Billy and Jack lie in their sleeping bags. A little bit of light shines onto the tent from Jack's house, but not much. Inside the tent it is very dark and very quiet. What time is it, Billy asks Jack. Jack turns on his torch and looks at his watch. 9.15, he says. Hmm, says Billy. It's still a long time until midnight. Billy isn't sure if she likes camping in the dark. It was much more fun during the day. But she lies very quietly because she doesn't want Jack to think she's scared. Maybe we could just have the feast now, Jack says. No, silly, says Billy. Then it won't be a midnight feast. That would be a 9.15 feast. Of course, says Jack. He switches off the torch, then he switches it on again. I'd better leave the torch on, he says, so we can tell when it's midnight. Good idea, says Billy. She wonders if Jack is also a teensy bit scared of the dark. Billy and Jack snuggle down into their sleeping bags. They lie side by side and listen to the sounds of the night. Suddenly, Jack sits up. Did you hear that, he asks. What, says Billy. She sits up too. Then she hears the noise. It sounds like a low growling. What's that, says Jack. I don't know, says Billy. She feels scared. The growling sound gets louder. Billy and Jack hear a scuffling just outside the tent flap. Then a dark shadow slides across the tent walls. A monster, Billy and Jack scream together. Mum, Dad. Jack's dad pokes his head through the tent flap. You kids okay? he asks, smiling. Billy and Jack are huddled together. We saw a huge monster, Jack says. It growled at us, Billy says. There's no such thing as monsters, says Jack's dad. It was probably just a possum. Are you sure you kids don't want to come inside? Jack looks at Billy. I'm scared, he says quietly. Me too, says Billy. She feels glad that Jack feels the same as her, but I really wanted to sleep in my new tent. And have a new midnight and have a midnight feast, Jack adds. Billy is disappointed. She wants so much to sleep in the tent, but it is too dark and scary outside. Billy and Jack look at each other. They are trying to decide what to do. Then Billy has a great idea. A super duper idea. Can you guess what she is thinking? Billy and Jack bundle up their sleeping bags. They pick up their rubbish and the big pack of marshmallows. Jack's dad helps them pack up the tent. Then they run across the garden to the warm light of Jack's house. Ten minutes later, Billy and Jack are in the tent again. They are snuggled in their sleeping bags and they are fast asleep. Do you know where Billy and Jack are camping now? On Jack's bedroom floor. Oh dear. What about their midnight feast? It doesn't matter. Billy and Jack can have another midnight feast. Another time. Maybe when they are even bigger. And that ends that book.